Too many cables, too many cords. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, looks like we have a strong signal today. I wish I knew. I wish I knew why the the connection luck, the connection lottery is so unpredictable. Like for the past weeks, a couple of weeks, we've had a great connection, but then we had like a solid month or two of bad connection, and I just don't understand it. Oh well, here we are. It's time for another broadcast. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you all had a fantastic Easter. I sure did. Had the family over. My kids got to play with all of their cousins. Well, not all of their cousins, but many of their cousins. Good to see everybody on Facebook today. Stephen Williams, Toby Noble, Roman. Good to see everybody on Twitch, including Yar Pirate. And of course, great to see all of the regulars, the mem members, and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Salati Bardfast, Brett Builds, Alt Grendel, uh, Tony J, Julian Z, Scotty P, Cat5, and 444, and Courtney Zayas. We've got that one dude, MK2, a member for 30 months, with the first super chat of the day. Hey, Ox, been a while. I'm sick, so this is great timing. Cheers. Sorry to hear that you're sick, my friend. I hope you feel better soon. But cheers right back at you. We're going to have a good broadcast today. If you missed it, last week we started Horizon Forbidden West as the PC port was recently available on Steam. And after having played a number of console ports, ports uh, from games that were made for consoles that were then ported to the PC, like Alone in the Dark, which we've been enjoying on Thursday nights. Um, I gotta say, almost invariably, these uh, PlayStation ports tend to be really well done. Um, I, I, I have, I'm, I'm not gonna buy a PlayStation. I'm not even tempted to buy a PlayStation because of the controller issue. I just don't have the hands for a controller. But doggone it, every single PlayStation to PC game that I've played has just been a, a straight up banger, as, as the kids say. Uh, Days Gone, of course the Horizon games, all of the other ones that we've been enjoying. So yeah, I, I'm pretty impressed so far. And it's, it's good to be back in the world of, of Horizon because I'm kind of, it's been a while. I didn't realize just how many years it had been since we played Horizon Zero Dawn until the chat reminded me last week and I was wondering, oh, so that's why <laughs> I'm struggling to remember the lore of this world and uh, uh, all of the key bindings for the, for the combat. But it will come back to me, never fear. Matthew Allen Ryan on Facebook today. Good to see you, Matthew. I feel like it's been a while. Says, hey, Ox, I've been having a blast playing this game. Already have about 84 hours according to the game saves. Wow, that's impressive. I wonder how many hours it's going to take to do a 100% complete playthrough of the game. I don't know if that's going to be one of my goals, but uh, I kind of did wander off the beaten path towards the end of my last broadcast, and we went to a mine, and we saved some miners. We'll loop back around and get back on the main road and get back to the primary plot here soon. Julian Z says, Morning Ox, so good to see you. Happy Monday, we're finally in April. We're so close to the Fallout TV show. Can't wait. Any April Fool's plans like Fallout Roanoke? <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that was a long time ago. Um... I, I don't have any April Fool's plans. Man, I, I need to be more creative. I need more time, really, to, to be able to do stuff like that. No, I don't have any April Fool's plans, so don't expect anything. Wait, today is April 1st, isn't it? Oh, so, so today is April Fool's Day, so I missed it. I'm, yeah, no, there's no no surprise, no, no teases uh, today. Sorry, just a normal broadcast day. Hope that's okay. That's okay. But yeah, you're right. It's getting close to April 11th, and that's the big day. 
That is the day the Fallout show drops. And I think we're all going to be very busy that day. How many of you are going to pull an all-nighter and just, you know, get through the entire thing? Plow through all of the episodes in the series? Because I know I will. <laughs> That's going to be me. I've got content to make. I've got commentary to record. I'm going to be busy. And the thing is, I've got a trip planned. I've got another business trip. Well, it's not really. It's kind of a business trip. Uh, I think I can talk about it. Yeah, I think it, uh, St. Jude uh, uh, contacted me. And they want me to uh, fly to Tennessee to check out their facilities there. And I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing there. But you know, I do my charity live streams every Christmas to raise funds for the kids of St. Jude. Well, they reached out to me and they want, they want to ship me off somewhere. I should probably know what I'm going to be doing before I agree to go on these trips, huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be doing something in Tennessee and, uh, yeah, that's, it's coming up. So it's going to be right, right after the fallout show drops which is really bad timing. I agreed to this months ago, and, and it's really bad timing because I should be back home working on my content for the Fallout show, but no, I'm gonna be off doing something else. Anyway, I'm so glad I'm gonna be able to do it. It'll be fun. James uh, says, so happy you're playing Forbidden West. Have fun. Thank you so much, James. I will have an absolute blast. I had a great time last week, and I'm looking forward to diving back in this week. Elena Sherwood on Facebook says, For me, my first playthrough, 100%. And DLC clocked in at 57 hours. Wow. Well, four hours of broadcast. That's that's a lot of weeks. If we do 100% this game, uh, I'll, be, I'll be busy. I'll be doing it for quite some time. And we still have Phantom Menace to complete. Did I say Phantom Menace? Phantom Liberty, is it? <laughs> I'm getting my phantoms and my games and my genres all mixed up. It's not Phantom Menace, it's Phantom Liberty. We still have Phantom Liberty to complete. Oh man, I need to clone myself. I, I wish I could clone myself and just do everything, but I can't do everything. And I've got people asking me to do the new Fallout 76 Atlantic City stuff, and I want to, but when I, 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 just, I need to clone myself. I can't do it all, it's too much. Greg Williams says, uh, I used to play the piano by ear, but now I play by hand. I'm here all night, says Greg. Thank you for that one, Greg. Also, when I try to go to, e uh, when I try to go evil playthrough on a video game, I just can't do it. All in the example of Fallout 3. It's hard, you know, it's hard when you're standing above Megaton and you've got the, the button. Mr. Burke is standing there, and Alistair Tenpenny is just waiting for the light show. And it's all up to you, and you can push the button, or you can walk away, and you're like, ah, Do I murder all those people in Mega? It's a tough choice. It's a tough, tough choice. I'm with you on that. Steel101 says, Another month of Oxhorn not playing the Machata Tomb Raider game. You're never going to touch that game again. We understand, lol. Look, uh, I, it started strong. The Tomb Raider uh, reboots, right? They started strong, and I was enjoying them. But then this last one, like the third game, was it the third or the second? Anyway, the one that I did before, the last one I did, it was getting a little slow. But I got through the game. You know, I enjoyed it. But man, this last Tomb Raider game, I just I couldn't get into it. I, just, I didn't have the energy to, f to finish it. And uh, all the NPCs running around going, machata, machata, machata. Too much. It's too much. Kara Aerosmith says, Hey, Ox, I found a new job pretty quickly, and I start next week. Super excited for the stream today. Keep a weather eye on the horizon. Thank you for that one, tying it into the game. Yeah, I like it. Kara Aerosmith, congratulations on getting your job. Um, I remember you had lost it. Uh, when you came by, I think it was last week, and uh, it, it's rough out there for so many people looking for jobs. I know people who have been looking for literally months. So I'm so excited that you got a new job. Congratulations, my friend. Zarteth says, also, the game's menu theme is slightly drowning your voice out, Ox. All right. All right, I took it down by five decibels. 
hopefully that'll be enough. Wade Speakerman says, I have the heart of a lion and a lifetime banned from the zoo. Well, I wonder how you got that, Wade. Thank you very much. Zarchet says, it was mostly the crescendo. It's mostly fine. Did you, well, it's, it's very loud title music, it is. String orchestra and you have this operatic singing. No, vo no lyrics. It's, there's no words, it's just vocalization. <laughs> but it's music, you know, music's fine. Okay. Sandgrain says, are you into the Elder Scrolls games? You know, not really. I I played uh, Skyrim. I streamed it, actually. I streamed Skyrim, and I did the whole Dragonborn questline thing, which is the primary plot. That, okay, the story. So I did the story of the game, <laughs> you know, the Dragonborn quest, but I didn't get into any of the side content, and I briefly considered making lore videos about it. I made one lore video years ago about Skyrim, and it was a storyline lore video. Ma Malden? Meriden? It was about a character inside a inside a, a keep, inside a manor or something, and he was he was working in the pantry, and he was stealing something from the kitchen. It was a long time. I forget. But, you know, my, my audience didn't seem interested in the lore videos, and I was so-so on the game itself. It was alright. I'll probably play the new one when it comes out, the new Elder Scrolls Six. I'll probably stream it at least. Not do lore videos, no, but stream it? Yeah, I'll probably stream it. <clears throat> Greg Williams says, Ox, can you give the old college try to try and sing along with the music as if you were the choir? Lol. I mean, I don't have musical notes in front of me. I, I, I don't have the sheet music. I can't do that. You want me to play it by ear? You want me to memorize the lead singer's vocalizations and just be like... I mean, I don't think any of us want to watch or listen to that. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Deathica says, uh, I usually lurk silently on every stream, but I'm ready to give you all my monies for Horizon Forbidden West. Lol. So excited. Please take your time and savor this game. <laughs> Well, Deathica, it's good to see you again. I'm glad that you still watch all of my content. It's good to see you back. And uh, I really enjoyed my last my last uh, uh, broadcast of this game. So I'm looking forward to savoring even more. Ruroran says, That's probably the quest where we go into a Dwemer dinner party like a spy. That all sounds kind of familiar. Dwemer? That's like a, a dwarf? Or is it a dark elf? I don't know. But yeah, it did sound like a dinner party. It was the it was the James Bond quest or something like that. Greg Williams says, "Lol, that was enough. <laughs> that was enough singing. No more, no more singing. No more vocalizations. That was enough, huh? I mean, I agree. Yeah, that that was enough." Phil says, ever since you said this game had a tad bit of a Disney touch to it, I can't unsee slash unhear it now, lol. I mean, it does. I'm just being honest. I'm not being critical. I suppose it is technically criticism, but, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's just, I typically don't play games that have a slight Disney touch. I typically play games that are kind of stark and they've got, you know, dark worlds or it's a horror game or it's post-apocalyptic. But this post-post-apocalyptic game is very pretty and lush and, you know, lots of animals, even if they are metal ones, and butterflies and fields and flowing hair and oh, this is vocalizations. It's got a slight Disney touch. That's not a bad thing. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I just noticed it, that's all. K. 
Kara Aerosmith says, uh, yeah, too bad the Fallout show is only releasing one episode at a time. The release day will have two, but then we'll have to wait, like, love the, love the TV. Really? Did they change it again? Did they? Okay, so when I went to Texas for Philly, the, the recreation of Philly, the, the, the prime video people that were there told us that they were going to be releasing the first couple of episodes... And then, you know, do one episode a week or something like that. And I was like, all right, and I'm getting ready to make a bunch of content. And then they come back like, no, 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 wait, hold on. Because they actually changed the release date too. When we got there, everyone was saying, tell your viewers that it comes out on April 12th. I'm like, all right, April 12th, 12th, 12th. And then the, the next day, it was the day of Philly, the morning of, they released all of the advertisement for the game and they released the trailer and the billboards came up in Austin, Texas. And they all said April 11th. <laughs> and we were like, we noticed it first too. So we we, we, all, we talked to the people at Amazon Prime. We're like, uh, it says April 11th, but you told us 12th. And they're like, oh yeah, that, that changed. It is April 11th. Oh, and they're going to release the entire show all at once. And we were like, oh, okay. Well, thanks for the update. But did they go back? Did they change it again? Because the last I heard, the last they told me was that it was all coming out at once. But did they go back to the episodic releases or is it all gonna be at once oh my god well i mean that'll be good from a content perspective because then it gives me an opportunity to watch an episode digest the episode prepare a response to the episode publish content for it and it gives people time to watch it and you know anticipate the next episode i actually like that better than a big dump of the entire series because then that's a lot of content for me to get through Okay, Malchris says it's all at once. They gotta get their act together. They need to figure this out. I don't know. What like I, I I'm making content about this show. I gotta be able to know what to expect. They can't dump this on, on me at the last minute. I'm making it all about me. Kara Aerosmith says, lol, what is today? To oh. Kara! Kara, did you just April Fools me? You just April. So the problem with that April Fools joke is it hit too close to home, because they they that was their original plan was to to release it. So you were kidding with me, because it's April first. I'm gonna have to be careful. I'm just now realizing that I'm gonna have to be careful for the next few hours, because you guys are gonna probably try and trick me. Thanks, Kara. Thanks so much. Where was I? Okay. I think we're ready. I'm out of coffee. Let's do this. Okay. Go to Chain Scrape and find Errand. All right, so we came through here. There was the campfire there, but then we crossed this mountain to clear out the Crimson Narrows. We then ran up to this shelter. Your stash? Do I have like a stash box and a workbench? Okay. Uh, and then an unknown over here and a couple of, uh, enemy spawns. Well, I want to avoid those because I don't want to waste my time just fighting guys. Unknown campfire. And then another, another unknown location. Do we go and clear out all of the unknown locations? This is our quest destination. There's Chain Scrape. We could just go straight there. And that's Aaron's last known location. But you know what? This might be a vault. I think I, I remember exploring the vaults in the last game were some of my favorite parts of the game. 
and I'd hate to miss one. Okay, what's this? Unavailable. That's, that's unavailable. There's my campfire. What's this? Is that my stash? This is your stash. It can be found in every settlement, as well as many other locations throughout the world. When you gather items beyond your carrying capacity, excess items will be sent to your stash. From here, you can retrieve items individually or restock all your resources by holding R. By upgrading your pouches at the workbench, you can increase your carrying capacity. Okay. Resources. So these are the resources I have accumulated so far. So then I press R. Whoop. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Whoopsie. Restock all categories. Okay. All possible items move to my inventory. So I can do crafting, right? Workbench! Available upgrades too. Weapon upgrades, outfit upgrades, trap crafting. Okay, let's go to weapon upgrades. Uh, the frost blast sling or the hunter bow. Um, level one upgrade. Alright, do I click on it? Uh, how do I... Upgrade available. Oh, okay. Metal shards and braided wire. Create job or upgrade? Weapon complete. Nice. New weapon attributes, acid hunter arrows. Great. Can I upgrade this too? That's 75 metal shards and a burrower circulator. Can I get it to three? No, I need a burrower sound shell. All right. Well, let's go to my, my slingshot here. More braided wire. Blast sling. Matt Rowland says, Ox, in other words, you have unlimited capacity with your stash, so loot everything. You're somewhat familiar with loot, I hear. You hear correctly. When it comes to loot, I am no novice. A bristleback circulator, that's my last one. Oh, I can actually fully upgrade this because I have a bristleback tusk. Ooh, empty coil slot. Great. How do I put in a coil slot? How do I slot my... Do I do it from a workbench or from my inventory? I guess from my inventory. Let's take a look at outfits. Level 1 upgrade. Okay. Sturdy hard plate and metal shards. Burrowish Circulator. Stats improved. Okay, I need a Fang Horn Antler. A Fang Horn Antler. Okay. Trap Crafting. Got enough of those. Pouch upgrades. I need squirrel hide. Oh, God, I remember. Having to hunt critters for hide. Oh, man. Raccoon hide. Boar hide. Oh, I remember this. I didn't like it. I spent, <laughs> I spent so much time looking for hides. Ugh. No. But I will create jobs for all of them so that if I see them while I'm out there, I can snag them. It's 
special gear. The pull caster crafted. Nice. Uh, looks like there are no upgrades to that. Cool man fight says, hello, Oxhorn. Loot everything. Also, happy Easter, Oxhorn. I drank some mead for this last uh, last of Easter. Oh, congrats. That's great. Sounds good. I, you know, I, I wanted to like mead so bad because you, you read a lot about mead in, um, you know, old history, uh, history texts and novels and all of that. And so I grew up thinking I would really like mead, but then I tried it and I did not like it. It was too sweet. Way too sweet for an alcoholic beverage. Uh, but that's just me. Okay. A coil slot has been unlocked for one of your weapons. Coils can be equipped on weapons to improve their performance. Tap R when viewing the weapon in your inventory to modify. Okay. Um, edit coils. And I have no coils. Okay. Oh, I can actually get one from this burrower sound shell site. Boar hide over there. Oh man, this is gonna this. If I do all of this, I'm gonna get lost. Uh, I'll run out of time. All right, so let's go towards this. I want to see what it is. Unknown. Doesn't look like a vault. Looks like a town. Oh, dear God! It's all the way up there. Oh man, how am I gonna get up there? Dear God. Crap. <clears throat> oh, wait. Those are the mounts. Do I have a mount? I, I thought I had a mount. I forgot how to summon mounts. still inside. Looks like the path out broke a long time ago. I'm gonna have to climb. Mad Roland says, Ox, you have to shoot off the loot on machines like the sound shell. Alternatively, you can use on you can turn on easy loot in the custom difficulty and loot it. So I can't I I can't just kill the creature, I have to shoot something off. A 
Lots of loot. I thought a dyer would be interested in this. A dyer? Okay, was there more loot? Nope. Alright. Well, uh, up here, I guess. Nope. 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 I actually kind of like this. Remember in the last game, they just had yellow paint on every area that where you could walk? Now it's invisible, which of course is much more realistic. There we go. But you can still see it using your focus. Cool. All right. Oh. Cool. A signal lens. Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. Lens of dawn. A dome-shaped piece of glass that reflects light, or refracts light. Covered, uh, recovered from a Karja signal, signal tower at the northeast end of Daunt. Okay. Well, location explored. Dethica says some resources persist after a machine is killed. Some are destroyed, if not detached, before death. You can see per part when you scan a machine in the field. I see. Okay. Well, that makes it more complicated. Okay, location explored. Uh, next up is that unknown location. No, that unknown campfire. No, I was trying to loot. Okay, what have we here? Another campfire. Quick save. Is the campfire just a, a, a save spot and a workbench? No people, no boxes. I don't even see a workbench here. Oh, here we go. What's that? Is that part of this? Yeah, it goes all the way back up there. All right, let's see what's back up here. <laughs> Nothing much.
Okay, back to the charger. Oh, the smooth dampening sounds. Right, uh, let's go here. Unknown location. Whoop. There we go. I passed it. <clears throat> it was over here and to the right, and there's a bunch of guys down there, so I need to be careful. Like a bunch of lawnmowers. Hmm. Strong smell. Up here, maybe? Can't climb on any of that. Rush! There's so much rush! Yeah. <laughs> Up there? I think this one is underwater, says chat. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that would explain it. I don't see any water on the map. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there's water right there. Huh. Well, let's see what happens if we dive in. Oh, okay. Aha! <laughs> Cave! Quick save. Oh, what? I can't quick save, can I? Here we go! It's gonna get me killed! It's gonna get me killed! <laughs> okay, there's one more under there. Oh, swimming is so awkward. I need a rebreather.
green shine silver. Gemstone. It's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. Green, oh, sliver. I wonder if merchants would be interested. Ooh, we got a dead guy. You have found a piece of green shine, a rare and valuable resource. Hidden all over the world, green shine can be used for upgrading certain weapons and outfits or trading with specific merchants. Nope. Oh, got a dead guy. And it goes on. Anything under, under here? Oh, yeah, there is. Crap. Oh, there's another green shine down there. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Do I dare go for it? <laughs> okay. Drowning today. Anything else? Okay. Oh, yeah, of course, there's more. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a full breath. So, with swimming, you gotta limit the number of turns you do. You, you got to limit the number of movement you do because um, it takes a while and you're losing breath while you move. Deathika says, use your focus to ping like sonar underwater. Okay, thank you, Death uh, Deathika. Here we go. What was that? I did a ping, and then there was like a... Okay, let's get this one. Ah, I see. Oh, there's something else over there? <laughs> Kavlin Tear says, My internet is crap today, so I'll catch the playback back later. But I wanted to say that I love the story of this game, even if it is more of a Net Netflix adaptation meme, that watching you play last week has inspired me to replay it. Well, thank you, Kavlin. I'm enjoying it as well. All right, when we did our ping, something under there... Well, I can't see it, and I'm not... You do not have the required equipment to swim deep enough to progress. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's more to this cave, but we can't explore it just yet.
Well, location explored, and it's now mark marked on our map, Sunken Cavern, Daunt East, and those are the two entrances. But we just stumbled upon a couple more unknowns, unknown there and unknown there. Let's go to that one first. Oh, it's up there. Dear God. I think I can climb up this cliff. I wonder if there's anything interesting at the top. That's always the question, Aloy. No, up. And then we gotta... No, up. Wow. Why is that so difficult? No. Guess I gotta go over there. Because I can't... I can't reach that. I just do. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay. You get a strong color out of this. Carja Watchtower. I wonder what's inside. I bet a cook can do something with this. Right, let's find out. I gotta get the loot. Oh, really? Oh, man.
Okay, one surface. Well, they definitely made climbing a bit more of a challenge. Okay, almost there. A bit more strategic. In the last game, you sort of just jumped onto the wall and pushed up, and the game would automatically find the next handholds. Based on my recollection. This game doesn't do that. You do have to sort of aim her the right way. Double tap Wacid! She does this this dive like that. Oh man. This is gonna get me killed one of these days. Okay. Let's try this again. No! Oh! oh! Oh, what? I fell through a hole? Climbing hard! Slowly. Don't fall in the hole. Don't fall in the hole. No! Don't dive. God. No! Why? Okay, trying this again. Pete's sick. Don't dive. Don't dive, please. I'm there we go. Made it. Oh. And there's another one of those devices. Interesting. What? Probably gonna figure out what these are for later on. The lens. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Yes. It'll become apparent later in the quest. Here we go. I see the entire. <laughs> oh, sorry, I should have stopped to smell the flowers, but no. I was ready to repel. Interrupted her dialogue. Okay. How do we get down from here? There we go. So, we got that, but then there's that. Let's go get that. Oh, it's another freaking tower, man. Must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear, too. Chain scrape. No, that's to the brink. That's chain scrape. Okay, that's the town. Alt Grendel says chat is suggesting changing the dodge setting. Okay, settings. Uh, mouse and keyboard. Toggle sprint. Double tap to dodge off. Thank you. Rock. 
So that's Chain Scrape. Let's go get that and then follow this road around back into Chain Scrape. Can it reach me up here? Probably not. Oh. Well. Come down here. Okay, so that's the town. If I follow this up around and go left, I can get that and then go there. All right, so first left. It's a dead machine. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Aaron took it down. Do anything with that? Is that just decorative? Something blew over there. Ah, look at this. Uh. Well, there's something in there. I can't get in there. Huh. Crimson Narrows. Oh, that's the one place. Blocked path. Missing tool needed. Ah. Right. So I am going to have to come back for that. Oh, my God. Rush. Rush. Oh, my God. Rush. 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 Shrubberies. Tired of all the shrubberies. Ah. Ugh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I chose a bad path. I chose a bad path. No. It's right above me, but. Guess I gotta start from down there. Maybe if we just slide. Can we slide down? Uh, uh, slide, slide. Just, just hide it, slide. Don't die. Ah, just slide. Yeah. Oh. Yep, yep. <laughs> 
There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nope. This pigment would work well in armor. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! There we go. Okay, another tower with a reflector thing on it. I'm sure. And we'll find out later exactly what are those are used for. E loot. Okay, how do we get up there? I tried jumping up there, that didn't work. Yes. I don't think I can get past that. Guess I should leave it for now. Oh. Really? Because it's right there. Like, if I could get to that. Trying to pull that. to leap over every wall except for when I want her to Aha. Looks like there's another device up here. Got it. Got another lens. I'll tuck this away for now. Sarah B says hi from England. Snow's melting on my clothes. Great. Never usually get to catch you live, so I'm glad I could today. Warning, a lot of exploring needs tools you unlock later in the game. I'm discovering this, yeah. We couldn't dive deep enough because we needed a tool... We couldn't burn through that foliage because we needed a tool. 
So, well, we'll explore what we can. More up oh yeah, great app. Ah. So it has something to do with this. We we're gonna have to hunt these down to remove this foliage. And then find whatever's hidden there. Okay. Now, there was a road I saw on the map. It goes around back here. Yeah, that's the road. Should take us straight to chain scrape. almost died because of it. Have you seen us? What are we supposed to Outlander do? Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Want to come in, savior? That's me. I'm the savior. Oh. Welcome to Chainscrape, savior. Open up, guys. Jar of orders. Good enough for me. <laughs> I mean, they already knew she was savior. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks uh -oh. are everybody's problem. Roland, you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. I like uh, that. Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. No cold ah, beer? Of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. I've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Oh, okay. Maybe we can get that beer. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Already did. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Shop is closed. On, 
And there's the workbench. Oh my god. Shop's closed, Red. You're welcome to use the workbench. Okay. But I already upgraded everything at the other workbench. I'll just steal some supplies. Sarah B, to get my silver ox. Thank you, Sarah B. And this is my stash. Restock all categories. Okay. Good to go. I guess this shop is closed too. Hey! All right. This looks like a tavern. Yeah. Oh, side quest. This merchant is locked too. Wow, I can't uh, I can't talk with any of the merchants right now. Guess I need to advance the plot. Hey, eat, drink, and be merry, all. What's this? What is that? New data point. My eyebrows. A complaint form smudged with ash and filled with angry glyphs. Javad, please help. The product in question maimed me. I filled out the required form below, and I still can't even get a refund from Della and Boomer. I beg you, give me justice. Complaint, Jordert Guardsman. Product description, a bang buster, I think. A boom buster. Does it matter? I bought it three days ago. I know you remember me incident description. Again, I just told you, I was demonstrating this scorched out hammer to my fellow guardsmen by slamming it on a piece of rock, and instead of booming the rock, it boomed toward me, and now I don't have any eyebrows. Maimed. He said it maimed him. It just scorched his eyebrows. Am I surprised? Am I sad? Nobody can tell since I no longer have eyebrows. So in case you weren't aware, let me tell you, I'm very unhappy. And I want my shards back. Refund denied. Customers was made fully aware of the prototype's volatility at time of purchase. Proceed with purchase regardless, proclaiming, I am not a baby. <laughs> Love it. Customer service never changes, does it? Brad Ludwig says, just tuned in. Hope you're having a great session. Thank you very much, Brad Ludwig. Or Brad Ludwig. I am having a great session. Okay, side quest. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hold. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. His special griddle. Oh, Ulven, he wore out his special griddle. <laughs> Are Ulven's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. 
They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the olden discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, no trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. I guess they like my food. More than ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. <laughs> Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. No one will push me around, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, right, a dash of courage. Enough. Just need to hunt for some wild meat and grab a metal panel from a scrounger pile. Wild meat in a scrounger panel. Hey, Change your mind about that. Come to revel in some strike, sister? Strike? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I... Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. Okay, we're gonna I'll play a minigame. Special if you win it on my boards, too. Oh dear. <laughs> Beginner's tutorial. Oh man. Okay. Uh, board. Opponent set. Open glossary. Introduction. Oh wow. Dear Lord. Machine Strike is a two player strategy game played by the tribes of the Forbidden West. Each player owns different boards and favors a particular set of machine pieces. Defeat them all and become the ultimate strike master in the West. Okay, so uh, it's like that mini game from Witcher. Gwent. How to win. Whenever it's a, a, uh, an opponent's machine is destroyed, whether by your hand or theirs, its value is added to your pool of victory points. Acquire seven victory points before your opponent is uh, before your opponent or destroy all the their machines to claim victory. Okay, how to start. At the beginning of each game, both players choose a set of pieces to play with. Each player then places those pieces within the two rows closest to them. The owner of the board chooses who goes first. The game proceeds by... All right, maybe I'll figure it out as I go along. I'm, I don't have the patience. Terrain and knockback tutorial. Oh, what? Oh, machine types and skills. Oh, man. Man. Okay. How do I start? How do I start? Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't want to. Do I have to read all of this? You're probably busy. I understand. Yes, I'm. I'm busy. Learning machine strike. Where? Well, maybe later. I'm already playing a game. I don't want to learn how to play a game within a game. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. 
Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! <laughs> ah. Don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. <clears throat> right. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Hmm. Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. That was his cue. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Do squirrels smell fat nuts? I didn't know squirrels were renowned for their sense of smell. Do nuts smell? It's a weird turn of phrase. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. All right, well, we got some politics there. Okay, so we unlocked, uh, unlocked, oh, there's another one. There's another quest over here. 
All right, let's go get it. Just so that we can gather resources while we're on our way to the next destination. Anything happen after I left yesterday? Here, Alvund. The what do you want, Alvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of use. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. Freeloader? So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed <laughs> elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. Oh, <clears throat> okay. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Saying fair deal? Very loud. You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this <laughs> prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chainscrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, 
But my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. He reminds me of uh, the mayor of Diamond City. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Okay, the bristlebacks. The card your magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Okay, now to the Karja Magistrate. Uh, all right. You still owe me five shards. Easy there, Red. Back to the tavern. Don't you think I forgot? I never forget. I Over here. I know you right <laughs> to the claim. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The Through only the way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrapes all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be <laughs> a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll <clears throat> actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. 
I'm betting it's a vault or a, a, a cauldron that's manufacturing them. It's somehow awakened or something and is now sending them out. But before we do that, we should probably go find Errand. Yeah, let's go find Errand at his last known location. And then we'll tackle some of these side quests, which I believe are going to send us back this way. Or there's Baron Light. All right, well, let's just go find Errand and then see where that sends us. Is that the Never fear, my lady. You have found me. Okay, is that a bad guy? It's probably a bad guy. We're going to have to go right through it, aren't we? Where are you off to? Okay. Handy. I ran out of ammo uh, during that. Come on and over. I Let me give thanks proper like. Forgot I had to switch. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Took down that bristleback, headed south. Then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make. Free of charge. Very kind. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Olvind. 
Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no, he didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? <laughs> oh, no. Lord. Karn said true. They just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you in the vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. <laughs> she has no patience for small talk at all. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Okay, trip casters allow you to place various types of trip wires. Tap left click while aiming to set up the first anchor point, then aim right. Well, we remember this from the last game. Enemies that trigger the tripwire will receive shock damage as well as shock buildup, indicated by the icon above them. When the buildup is full, enemies become shocked for a limited time. They can't move and are vulnerable to critical strike melee attacks. Repair a damaged mount. Ah. There we go. Good as new, buddy. The next fight. Oh, boy. Oh man. Where'd he go? Got away. Uh, Matt Rowland says Ox gameplay tip for fighting bristlebacks. Attack the green canisters with acid arrows and watch the glorious result. Awesome. Thank you, Matt Rowland. Deathica says elemental arrows don't do damage. They apply stat effects. You can see it fully applied with solid white outline icons above their heads. You need to switch to regular arrows after you see the white circle. Yeah, thank you for the reminder. I uh, had forgotten that. I, I didn't realize what type of arrow I had equipped during that fight. Oh, and that spawned under a rock, so I can't loot it. Wild meat for Moldov. There we might find something I missed.
Whoa! Let's do it. Some ruin from the old world. I could find something interesting inside. There's just a lot happening at once. The Daunt, new relic ruin. Uh, treasures await those who dare explore the ruins of the old world. Oh. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're a vanguard. Well, here to escort Vadis' delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. <laughs> I should probably get going. She's always in a hurry. <laughs> now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. Okay, I got some smoke bombs. Deploy smoke bombs to confuse nearby enemies and escape back into stealth. Smoke bombs can also be used underwater. All right. Cool. Uh, out of my way. Well, I'm intrigued by this ruin. something in there. Okay, so Erend is <clears throat> up here. I passed an unmarked location there. That was the campfire. No, oh, and I, I missed a campfire as well. All right, so I need to backtrack a little bit, but I want to explore this ruin. Okay, what do we have in here? Nope. Oh my god. Um. Needs a backup. Try again. Like this door needs some kind of key module. Maybe there's one in the ruin? A key module in the ruin. Alright. Ancient supply box. Key module. A vent panel? Okay, so I need to get over there somehow. White Fang says, great game, are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it.
Oh, was that the only entrance? Huh. Right. Um. Okay. Well, guess we got to go over somehow. Oh, right. Oh my god, come on. Ugh. I find myself getting stuck on the geometry of the world more than I recall getting stuck in the last game. There we go. Is that the key module? Before I drop down, let's see if I can get any of this loot. No, oh, that's a data point. There's a code for the locked door in this data. Okay, your red permit code. Uh, from Lodge at Zion Reception to Thomas Braith. Thank you for staying with the Lodge at Zion. With your reservation, you have op opted for our red permit parking pass. To ensure the safety and security that our accommodations are renowned for, the access gate for the guest vehicles is protected by a personally generated code. For your convenience, this code grants entry both uh, to your room and your parking space. Your red code permit is... Blah, 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 blah. Please keep in mind that this code is confidential, so please refrain from sharing it with anyone during your stay. We look forward to seeing you. Have a safe and pleasant journey. The Lodge at Zion Crew. Mr. Braith, sorry for the inconvenience, but our parking system software hasn't worked properly for some time. To access the lot, just use the code 1705. It's embarrassing to admit, but we're actually unable to change it. Thanks for your understanding. Teresa Morton, manager. I <laughs> still need to find a key module. Right. Huh. Metal clamp? Oh, it's on the other side of the wall. Okay. Oh, right. A crate. This should be useful. <laughs> no. Wow, that was completely the wrong direction. Come on, Aloy. Come on. Up we go. There we go. Now. Okay. Yeah. Gotta find a key for the door. Oh, big drop. Uh, 
I guess to drop down. Ah. That's our way out. So we go down to the underground parking garage, I'm assuming. There's more of the ruin down here. Where to now? All right, I bet we go... Um, this way first. What a ruin. There's nothing here. Okay, so we go up. Oh! Well, I can't reach the ledge above now. Guess I'll have to find another way up. Crap! Okay. Back down here, I guess. Ah! down here. Bet I wasn't standing directly under it. Did we just do that for the light? <laughs> oh no, now we can... Aha! <laughs> A key module. God darn it! Ah! Okay, I missed that jump last time. Uh, 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 this is why. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's just go around. Let's go around. There we go. We need to go in here anyway. Yeah, here we are. All right, key module. 
There. Um, looks like this needs a code, too. I think some of the data I picked up might help. Oh my god, it was 17. <sighs> really? I gotta read the message again? It was 17 something. Notebook. Uh, data points. Surprise, project, recruitment, PR. 1705 says chat. Fine, thank you. 1705. I'm in. Oh, Irish. Ornament. <laughs> what is this thing? I guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Let's get started. Uh, first stop on the Screw You Kyle tour. Guess what, Kyle? That big flashy demonstration for those big casino execs you wouldn't shut up about? Not gonna happen. But you know what is? Road trip, baby! Good luck following our dust trail. Dick nose. Golden Toucan's out. Okay. That makes perfect sense. I guess we'll understand what that means later. All right, we got skill points. Warrior, hunter, survivor, infiltrator, uh, healing. Let's try. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. So we need to. Concentration region, passive boost. Deep concentration, passive boost. Res resonator blast. Build up energy in your spear. Oh, okay. Let me let me work on hunter. And left shift to enter concentration and slow down time. Right. Concentration region. Ranged Master, Valor Surge. Bolster your resolve and deal more damage with ranged weapons for a limited time. You have unlocked your first Valor Surge. Hold R to equip it. Okay. High, vo high Volley, Weapon Technique. Oh. Rain down on my enemies. Spread Blast. Fire eight bolts of your currently selected type in a wide, short-range spread. Okay, let's turn my crossbow into a shotgun. Well, I should probably focus on a different um, tree here. Silent strike. Yep. Deal more tear damage while in stealth. Deal more ranged impact damage while in stealth. Let's do tear damage. Reduce your visibility to enemies. Always good. Okay. Well, now I'm out of points. Relics from the ruins, new collectible. Aloy has found a mysterious relic while exploring ancient ruins. Where did it come from? And are there more out there? 
All right, we're gonna find more. You've equipped a Valor Surge. Valor Surges are extremely powerful rare abilities that can instantly turn the tide of a fight. Build up your Valor Surge bar and unleash this ultimate power. Earn Valor through tactical gameplay. And when a segment of the Valor Surge bar is full, activate the Valor Surge by opening the weapon wheel and tapping space. Hmm. Unlock additional levels of Valor Surge in the skill tree to add segments to the Valor Surge bar and gain extra effects. Did I just get more skill points? No. All right, well, that was a bit of a diversion, but a welcome one. I kind of enjoyed that. All right, uh, I believe there were two campfires that we missed. Before we head to Erend, we need to get this campfire and Oh, no, we've been to that one, but we found this unknown and unknown campfire. Let's do that, and then we'll go to Errand. Vista Point Tower. Oh, that's what it was. It was a Vista Point Tower. Oh. An image from the old world. Looks like some kind of building in front of... Vista Point, the Daunt. Aloy has discovered an image of the old world. Finding where it was taken might reveal a glimpse into the ancient past. By using your focus to line up the image with the world? Huh. Sheer cliffs. The image is incomplete. But maybe if I line it up exactly with where it was taken, my focus can fill in the rest. Okay. Uh... The Vista Point image was captured somewhere within the marked area on your map. Use your focus to line up the image with the world. Uh, all right, do I need to scale the tower? Uh, Vista Point, the Daunt. Find where the image was taken. All right, well, uh, there was a hotel. Yeah, let's look at the ruin. Hmm. Nope. I should find another spot. All right, well, there is a mountain in the background. <laughs> oh, wow. So anywhere within that radius. Good God. Oh, man. Maybe it's the same one from the image. I could try to line it up around here. There it is! Huh. Completing the image unlocked a data file. 
The Daunt, Vista Points, text log, uh, congratulations on reaching the Lodge at Zion National Park. Uh, stop of our Vista Point tour, brought to you by Miriam Technologies and the Coalition for Environmental Reclamation. Ever since their establishment in 1872, national parks like this one have played a vital role in preserving our national heritage. But many have been threatened by climate change. That's why we created our Forester line of wilderness management machines. From ecosystem analysis to seed distribution and fire management, our creations are designed to restore wild landscapes to the way nature intended them to be. Comments, Ramiro. Five stops down, four more to go. Jia Li, I've come a long way for this. So happy to finally take the tour. Sammy, we should make all children come here. They spend so long in holograms now. They should come to these special spaces to understand our world properly. Amer, can you fix the sign by the drop-off point? We got lost five times finding this data corrupted. It looks like these Vista points were made by... <sighs> Miriam Technologies. That was Elizabeth's company. I wonder if I can find more of them out in the wild. Wow. So that's how they're doing Vista points now. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, uh... I found that campfire, didn't I? Yeah. So, to the brink. Right, there's my mount. But well, we need to track Aaron, right? Let's see where this leads. That big guy's running away. Well, someone was here destroying burrowers. Oh, then he climbed up here. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. There he is! Oh, it's good to see him again. Trolls. 
There we go. Oh yeah, now that's an Osirum. Just a hammer. Just the fight. Aloy? Aaron! Ooh! Sorry, Aaron! I distracted you! My bad. Crap. That's a big one. Stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. Canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. There's another one! Jeez. Crap! Crap! No! It's all coming back to me. Slowly. Over the course of multiple live streams. But it's coming back. Hey, Lloyd. Uh, yeah, you, might, you might have to oh, meet me halfway here. Ah! Oh. A coil is now available in my inventory. Uh, right, which has a coil? I think it was this. Yep. Uh, that's locked. That's locked. All right, so I'll put a coil here. Select slot. Uh, incomplete. Incompatible. It's incompatible. So it's for my bow. I'll be there in a second. I got a loot. Nothing up for that. All right, Aaron, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I... I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great! I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what, whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Erend, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. 
couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry? She's you? Sorry. so <laughs> bad with people. Oh. Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the Battle of the Spire, you, you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? <clears throat> oh, wow. I gotta clean up her mess because she's so bad with people. Okay, someone who doesn't have time for this or someone who had a good reason or someone who had no other choice. Uh, let's try no other choice. Because she's a good friend. I mean, you'd think she would want to be a good friend. I think she actually valued Eren's friendship in the last game. So if she could have said goodbye, she would have. Eren, look. I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but... What I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger. And only I can save it. Your life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Aaron, by the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. Ouch! <clears throat> well, uh... That doesn't sound good. Oh, oh. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. Oh, great. What was that? Well, bye, Aaron, I guess. Ah! I sh should have known. I should I wanted to see what would happen. I saw a target. I saw a target on the wall, and I thought, I'll shoot the target. I'll just shoot. Of course. <laughs> A bunch of blocks fall. <laughs> of course, what did I expect? Oh man! Ah, uh, I just wanted to see what would happen. Can you blame me? Oh, <laughs> uh, at least I don't have to fight the boss again. And Aaron's gone now. Where is it? <laughs> I want to see what happened. So I guess I could have done that during the fight, right? <laughs> I could have done that during the fight and, you know, timed it correctly so that the enemy dies instead of me. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning through my mistakes. Okay. And that's a ramp. Yeah, 
Hey. Green shine. Courtney Zaya says, never laugh, laughed so hard, Ox. <laughs> That's right. Chuckle at my misfortune. It's only me. My boneheadedness. Where did it go? Is, can I no longer do it? I guess I can no longer do it. All right. Right, we need to go to the source of the explosions. Alt Grendel says, well, that's a new short for you. Yeah, I can tell already. That's going to be a new short. <laughs> It'll be a good one, too. Oh, hi, Piggy. I don't need to kill you right now. I need to figure out what exploded. What are those awesome doing out here? Quick, gotta scrap them before the scroungers get them. Oh, oh. charging right at them. Just get back to chain scrape before you get yourselves killed. Not with all this salvage lying about. Come on, crew, back to it. <clears throat> well, that's a bit reckless. Look at all these dead bodies. They almost died if not for me. Back, back to it. your life look at all these dead bodies jeez there's the quarry throws mentioned One less machine. Those asses spit us brought friends. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that thing drop! Another one down. Oh, hi!
One less machine. God, there's a lot of them. down. There. Corey's safe. <laughs> I saw those logs and I was I was hoping to I saw those logs and I was hoping to be able to shoot the target and cast them down, but the the thing over here, but it, it didn't go to the right spot, so I wasn't able to have them come down. But we can actually get it to work without killing us this time. Yay! I didn't die! <laughs> A generous, valuable huh? cash. Okay, lady, what's up? I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olven blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olven holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a thaw before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. <clears throat> I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. Okay. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scrape can get back to work now. Really? Did I'll we? I'll give Olvent the good news. Vladis too. And oh, that was fast. This embassy can finally happen. Didn't realize that I had cleared them out already. Okay. Man, I thought I was gonna go to a vault or something, and ooh. Oh man. Thought it was a gun. All right, well, if it's done, it's done. And the campfire over there, is that the same campfire? Grapple points. Oh, I could have done that too. Sorry for wrecking your quarry. I'm just learning what I can do here. Oh, there's another one. Cool. Oh, 
All right, so that's Baron Light. Ruins clear, vantage clear, campfires clear. Unknown, unknown. Squirrel hide. More bristlebacks that way, but I think we mostly cleared it, so we go back. All right, so let's fast travel to this campfire. Right? I can fast travel to a campfire, right? Uh, but it's costing me a pack. I thought it said that I could... You can fast travel between campfires you've discovered without using a fast travel pack. Oh, I see. I have to actually go to... Ah, okay. Time to get Elvin to blow the whistle, then Bodies to bear light. Why is everyone circled around me smiling? It's a little creepy. Okay, well, let's go talk to this Olvind guy. Olvind, your excuses are gone. Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Yep. Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no. You blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay... Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, <laughs> gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Oh yeah. Right. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Okay. Merchants are now available. You can purchase new equipment, restock your resources, and sell unneeded items at merchants. Items in the valuables to sell category are always safe to sell. There are many types of merchants. Stitchers sell protective outfits. Hunters sell weapons. Herbalists sell potions, and cooks sell food. Other merchants have unique stock. Yeah, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Yeah. Let's see. Merchants, they were in... Here we go. About time that whistle blew. <laughs> Elvin must be brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you've got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Lucky hammer, lucky griddle. Everything is lucky. Okay, fire hunter bow. Warrior bow. Sharp shot bow. Uh, compare. I see. Okay, so uh, fire hunter bow does fire damage. Less impact but fire damage over time. Warrior bow. It's, oh, it takes the slot of my blast sling. 
A fast-firing bow, best suited for close-range encounters. Okay. So it's like a shotgun. Sharp shot bow. It's going to be a sniper. Also takes the slot of my blast sling. <clears throat> Precise, powerful shots. Well, I definitely want the sharp shot. But... It costs a charger circulator, which I don't have. So I can't, I can't buy it. Smoke bombs. Resources. Nothing that I can just sell, is there? Oh, I need to go. Here we go. Sell. Valuables to sell. Okay, so these are all safe to sell. Uh, can I just sell all? Oh, I see. Mark to sell and sell. Cool. That doubles my inventory. Key upgrade resources. I don't want to sell those. Don't want to sell my coils just yet. Strike pieces. Oh, that's for the minigame. You can have up to six weapons, says Mark. Okay. Uh, so I've got 11,000. This is 100. This is 100, er, 127, 149. Let's see what armor is available before I start going into weapons. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. I'm afraid there's no fixing you. Stealth, power, and protect. Okay, armor. <clears throat> We've got uh, Karja Behemoth Elite. Uh, looks like I don't have the materials for it. I don't? It only costs one metal shard. Why can't I? All right, Nora Anointed. Compare max level. Oh, that's interesting. Osram Explorer. Nora Thunder Elite. Oh, why are these grayed out? All right, so I can buy Awesome Explorer or Nora Huntress. Let's compare those, and then let's compare max level. All right, what I've currently got, Concentration Region, Potent Medicine. All right, so this is a stealth suit. Silent Strike, Heal, Low Profile. 25 Impact Damage, 5 Regular Damage, 25 Ice. Quiet movement and a new slot. So it doesn't actually give me armor. It just improves. Oh, I see. It does. Armor against impact. Armor against regular. Armor against ice. All right. So this actually provides armor against acid, lightning, impact, and regular. Now, the major difference is that this has a, a much better impact resistance. Awesome Explorer. We'll compare max, max level. 
much better regular resistance, lower impact, no frost or electricity, and then I've got um, acid. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if that's worth it. I, what I've got is, you know, pretty good. So I, I just don't think anything is worth enough choose? for me to buy. Let's try upgrading. Weapon upgrades. We can upgrade. We can't upgrade this yet. We're still missing components. I need a burrower sound shell to finish upgrading that. Can I upgrade this? Not yet. I need a Fanghorn Antler. Mad Roland says, Ox, those other two outfits are in your stash. Oh, are they? Is that why it was grayed out? Oh. Oh. Karja Behemoth Elite. Nora Thunder Elite. Low health region, second chance, low health defense. All right, so this grants me fire and impact resistance. This being resistance. Greater melee damage, power attacks, and critical strike. I like the poison resistance and the concentration of my current outfit, though. So I think I'll keep what I've got. Backlog of orders. What? So I've got the money. Let's buy weapons. I can't get that because I need a charger circulator. I could get the warrior bow and the fire hunter bow. I'm just going to buy... An ammo that deals fire damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies and see if they are weak to fire. Hitting them with fire will build up the burning state. Once in that state, they are set on fire and take damage over time. Shoot blaze canisters with fire arrows to detonate them and trigger a large elemental explosion. Okay, uh, how do I equip it then? Warrior bows are quick firing, short range bows. Unlike other bow types, they deal maximum damage even when not fully drawn, but quickly lose accuracy at longer distances. Remember, shoot elemental arrows to detonate canisters of the same elemental type. Okay. So, let's equip the warrior bow. Uh, warrior bow. Choose a slot. There we go. <clears throat> and then the Fire Hunter Bow. Choose the slot. There we go. Cool. Let's go and upgrade them. Metal shards and braided wire. Check. Ground your circulator. Check. Scrounger spark coil. Braided wire. Oh, that's the trip caster. Whoops. I dev I want to do that, but I want to focus on the fire hunter bow. Before I run out of braided wire. I'm out of charger circulators. Ah, oh, man. That's fully upgraded.
Okay, I need more braided wire. Shoot. Should be easy enough to find, though. Did I get enough boar for any of these? No. Boar bone. Oh. Okay, let's socket some stuff. Uh, coils. Impact. Incompatible. All right, so we'll put impact on there. That's locked. That's locked. Uh, nothing compatible. That's locked. Locked. Okay. Talk to Vadis. He's in the bar. Not again. Wait, no. There he is. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not errant vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said. I've cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. Ah. I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. <laughs> Off he goes without a word. You could help. If he's going too slow for you, you could help. But I guess not. Well, now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. Hooray! If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. Maybe even a guy a backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the don't some more first. <clears throat> okay, I've got three skill points. Let's go back into Infiltrator, see if I can unlock this final one. Move more quietly, reducing. That's a passive boost, definitely. Okay. Stealth Stalker. Not enough skill points. Oh, I need three for that. Activate a cloaking device based on stalker technology to decrease visibility to enemies. Aiming a weapon or using melee attacks temporarily deactivates the device. Oh, that is so cool. I'm going to love that. But I need one more skill point. Ox, you unlocked it. Three skill points is for level two. Oh. Valor Surge Ranged Master. How do I swap? How do I swap them? Oh, right. I, I got to equip a three. So I can only have one equipped at a time. Well, I want to try out the hunter one in the next fight. I didn't get a chance to do that last time. Just so I can see what it's like. And then we'll try the stealth one. All right. So there's a, lo a few things back here that I, I wasn't able to unlock yet. Uh, just because I didn't have the appro appropriate gear for that. Oh, I've unlocked two new quests over here. All right, let's uh, go check that. Check out these new quests. We are stuck in this dusty slug hole until Mr. Fancy Pants Cards can find his courage.
Uh, by the... Ah. Aloy, back for more, huh? Another round here? Heard you've been busy. As for me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. <laughs> anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Karja refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by. Convince him to set up camp somewhere else? Sarah B says, poor Petra. She keeps buying drinks for Alloy that she won't drink. That's true. That's the way it is in many of these games and movies. If you ever have noticed, like whenever it comes to eating and drinking, the main character just barely touches his or her food. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carja for one. At least not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbroker has ever lost sleep over any law breaking. Maybe I'll get there first. Who is this Tolland clean broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals and a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird salvage. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Talon making it rougher. Petra said Talon has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have a word with him first. <clears throat> okay. Is that this other guy or no? Quests, side, the bristle backs. I haven't finished this. Search west of the quarry for bristle backs. Okay, so I still have more bristle backs to destroy. Talk to Tolland. Let's activate this one. So that we can see where he's at. Ah. Oh, he's above me. What? Ah. Oh. So you got a lucky hammer that needs fixing, huh? I'll have you know this here hammer 
Got a scrapper off my back. First gig out of the tunnel. They keep flying all over the screen. There we go. There he is. Okay. Uh, it's you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed it myself with a harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Ooh, wow. Charming guy. I think I'm gonna loot his shop. Oh, was that yours? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, look. That was yours too, wasn't it? Oh, no. Mine now. New melee pit. A melee pit? What's a melee pit? You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Why are those over his eyes? Name's older. I've never seen eye this armor. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> uh, I might be. That's what I like to hear. Oh, I didn't even agree to this. All right, I guess we're doing this now. Melee pits test your close quarters fighting skills against other human opponents. Complete all challenges against other fighters to ultimately face the pit master. The pit also allows you to practice your melee skills in a focused tutorial or an open-ended training session. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, You need to learn Block Breaker in the skill tree to unlock this challenge. Wow. New Aaron, the Enduring. Okay. Uh, now there's one more side quest in town, I think. Let's see if we can find it. It's just over here. I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! 
Here, Making are we? bombs? Yeah. I'll take bombs. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Uh, Whoa! But you're just nuts! <laughs> I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba boom One shot kill, guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe, Javelin Thrower. They always call her Red. Is that what it's really like, being a redhead in the world? The, the first thing people notice about you is your red hair, and they just call you Red? That would be really annoying. I think I'd find that really annoying. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. Yes, says chat. Yeah, that and having no soul, says Wade. Redhead, red-haired people have no soul? Is, is that a thing? Is that like a common thing people believe about ginger-headed people? That they have no souls? Because they have red hair? How did that start? <laughs> That's weird. It's a known fact, says Pyro. Really? I didn't know that. Well, I'll have to bear it in mind. So she's your partner? My apprentice and my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident, another incident. Involving explosives? But boom And dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. <laughs> There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, oh, they break. Crap. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get him for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Oh, boy. Charger horns and fang horn ribs. Okay. Well, I think we got all the side quests. Okay, so this side quest is sending me all the way up there to the Twilight Path. This side quest is also sending me all the way up here before I get to the Twilight Path. This one sends me way back there. Okay. Uh, board game. Eh. Cook. Yeah. Oh, I already completed the objectives. Oh, except I need to go to the scrounger site. That's all the way back there. Oh, God. Go to the scrounger site. 
What's the difference between a side quest and an errand? So I need to get that guy's plate. A bigger boom. Oh, I got to get from both of those a fang horn rib and charger horns, but I got to blow the horns off the chargers first. God. And then there's jobs. Side quests, errands, and jobs. Nora anoint. Oh, this is my... I need a fang horn antler for that. Raccoon hide. Boar hide. Squirrel bone. Squirrel hide. Braided wire burrower sound shell. And a boar bone. Melee pit. Talk to the pit master. Then the enduring. Earn all Tanakh melee pit marks. Okay. Well, this is closest. Fishkey says the difference is that side quests have a story and errands do not. That's not true. Errands have a story. Like this one, the Dash of Courage. It was the chef who needed his... Uh, his pan repaired. So we need to go to the scrounger site to get that pan. But along the way, we're going to pass chargers and fang horns. So let's get the charger horn. Let's get the rib. Then we'll go over here and get the something or other. <laughs> All right. Charger horn. And I got to make sure that I knock them off first. Two, right? Could get around faster if I find a charger to override. Ooh, I love that. Okay, I knocked a horn off of this one. But the others fled. Hey. Charger horn. Oh, I need three. Ah, oh, dog on it. Alright, and what was that special ranged master activate? There we go. I should have enough charger runs for the now. 
just need a rib from that fanghorn they were talking about. Okay, fanghorn rib. Whoops. Over there. So I activated my special ability, and I'm not exactly sure what it did. Um, let me go back to my skills here. Bolster your resolve and deal more damage with ranged weapons for a limited time. Okay, so it just, it boosts my damage with ranged weapons for a limited time. Okay. But I gotta build up a meter first before I can use it. I want to try this. So let's equip that. Stealth Stalker. Cool. So I don't have to worry about these, I just have to kill them, right? If I find where these machines are made, I might learn how to override them. A uh, weak versus uh, poison and ice. Chance. Got a ghost. Should be able to harvest it too. 
got everything I need for Del and Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. Okay, one down. Save these for when I need it. Ticket. Ah. Uh. Ooh, we got a sparkly. So much loot. Okay. So that one, done. Let's go back to Errand. Or is it a side quest? No, it's the Errand's dash of, dash of Courage. Activate, show on map. All the way back there. Dear God. Okay, am I close to a campfire? I'm not. I might as well just ride. Okay, how do I... Oh, there you are. No! God. The looting and dismount button are the same. That's annoying. How goes it, Hammerhead? Now for this one, I just need a rib, so I don't have to worry about knocking a specific part off, do I? Splinters. Mulder said I could find a metal panel in one of their spell marks.
I dodged. I dodged that. <laughs> Didn't dodge that. Okay, now to look through the scrap piles for a metal panel. So much scrap. Check another scrap pile. Ooh. Well, you really get your, uh, this game scratches the looting itch. <laughs> there is so much to loot. Okay, gotta find a scrap pile. It's got the plate inside. Ah, maybe this one. I think I have everything I need for Mildiff. Good thing too. I can use a decent meal. Okay, time for a decent meal. Well, I'm glad that if your um, bags are full, when you loot stuff, it goes back automatically to camp. Don't know how to explain that from a lore perspective. Doggone it. Yay, did I finally get one? Yes, got a boar bone. Fantastic. That's for one of my pouches, right? No, I just gotta find a, a fox, a wolf, a llama, a kangaroo, and God knows what else. Can't use the pole caster on that. What is that? Oh, I could have used this as like, oh. Oh, that would have made the fight way much easier. Oh, I got to keep an eye out for those. Those are cool. Oh, there's a box over there and wow, stuff that I forgot to loot. Okay. Those are great. I'm gonna make good use of those. Now that I know they're there. Right, new cigar. Okay, I don't think I have any more errands that bring me back this way. There's an unknown settlement over here? How did I pass an unknown settlement? Well, I'm getting sidetracked. That was the sunken cavern. I must have just walked right by that. I mean, I am here now.
Oh! Raccoon! Yeah! I hope the drop rate on um, all of these animals is a lot higher than it was in the last okay. game. I remember spending what seemed like an eternity trying to find everything that I needed. Okay, how do we get over there? Oh, I need to cross the river. Tree! Oh, rock! Just go! Mount! Last log! Okay, I think I've got some pouch upgrades that I can do. No. Oh, I need two boar hide. Two squirrel hide. A J wishbone? Squirrel bone. There's my boar bone. Yay. Now I need vulture feathers. Just doesn't end. Squirrel bone. Any other upgrades I can do? Yeah, I've got a fang horn antler. Wait, I need I need both of those for the quest. Crap. Now let me go turn in the errands first and then I'll I'll, I'll finish the upgrades there. Complete a job bomb satchel. The remains of anyone that's not buried there. Heard they're wilder than the north. Let's hope we never meet one. Well, these guys don't have a quest for me. It just looks like a Okay, so it's a little town with a few merchants. Sorry. Look at all this junk everywhere, though. Maybe this guy up here's got a quest for me. No. Okay. So let's take the campfire and fast travel back to town. Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Montage! All you really needs a montage. Cooking montage. Wow. Mildef, that was... Inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> All right. Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Uh-oh. Hope to see you again. We didn't just inspire him to give the entire town dysentery, did we? We got a skill point. 
All right, is he now a uh, merchant? Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. Yay, local stew, bitter boar. Huh, food. A concentration region. Recover concentration faster. Aim and tap left shift to enter concentration mode. Okay. Pot stomp. Well, if I get a free one, ooh, I want one of these. Meat in the middle, a hearty awesome meal made by wrapping dough around a skewer of ground wild meat and then baking until golden brown. Boost stamina region by two levels for three minutes. All right, so that's the stamina region. That's a melee damage bonus. Mildruff's treat. Cool, I'm gonna buy that one. It's free, right? No cost. Yes. Okay, the rest all have costs. Crap. So this is what I use plants for that I find. Local stew, that's just metal shards. A hundred, that's a hundred metal shards for one stew. Okay. Wild meat and bitter leaf. Metal shards, bitter leaf, and river bloom. Interesting. Food provides temporary benefits and skill boosts. Mildruff's meal has reduced your concentration recovery time. Bring ingredients to cooks through the world to purchase food. Only one food effect can be active at a time. Okay, so how do I... How do I, uh... See what else Mildruff's cooking up. Mildruff's treat. Okay, so it's at the bottom there. So I can eat it during combat. All right. Now let's go find the bomb ladies. Took you long enough. Can make us a big boom. Brother, good big bargo boom. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding. I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what was that look? Hi. Yeah. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? <laughs> or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. You're just With the staring boomsticks? at Aloy. Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. I mean, Can it's I a have weapon. One? No! Ah, oh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom Okay, prototype spike th uh, thrower. Spike throwers launch powerful, uh, powerful projectiles that can hit enemies at long range. Due to their long buildup, they have a slow rate of fire and cannot be used while jumping or crouching. Spikes must be thrown at full draw in order to penetrate armor. Okay, how do I... Is it, is it not there? How about a blast swing? But with triple the ammo. Do you know how much blaze that would use? No blast way. trap, acid... Okay, oh, there it is. Okay, it launches explosive spikes that detonate after a short delay. Okay, so I can equip it and put it here. Edit coils. Can't modify it just yet. Okay, six of six is explosive rockets. All right, well, I've got a full inventory of stuff here. Lost. 
kind of. <laughs> Okay, I turned on the quests. Let's go upgrade our gear. Let's see, I wanted to do outfit upgrades. And I can now afford this. There we go. Empty weave slot. Was there anything else? No. Done. I can do that. Alright, let's finish upgrading this first. Scrounger spark coil. Empty slot. Metal shards and braided wire. Braided wire and scrounger circulator. Oh, need more braided wire. And a charger horn. Braided wire and charger horn. Ignoring me again. A weave slot has been unlocked for one of your outfits. Weaves can be equipped on outfits to improve their abilities. Each outfit comes pre-equipped with a weave that must be unlocked through upgrades. Tap R when viewing an outfit in your inventory to modify its weaves. Okay, so I unlocked plus one to concentration. And I can add melee defense. Okay. Complete a job, Nora Anointed. Now, can I add weaves or slots to any of my bows? That's locked, locked, locked. Not locked. Already has one. Here we go. Ah, none of them are compatible. Yeah, none of those are compatible either. Wouldn't hold my breath. Okay. Right. Quests. The enduring can to that now. Learning machine strike. Not really interested. Uh, those are the jobs I made side the Twilight Path and the Bristle Backs. These are both on the same path. This is the one that's closest. So we could do Bristle Backs here and then up here to do Twilight Path. Along the way, we can hunt for squirrel. We find a campfire. Blocked path, missing tool needed. Okay.
Ah. Ah. I just might as well not loot when I'm on horseback because that's really annoying. Okay, do you think we can go across this on the charger? Yeah, alright. Be welcome, Outlander. Thank you. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Again, just slaughtering local wildlife. Don't got it. Dead bristleback out of falls. Gotta check it out. A squirrel. Dead squirrel. Okay, search west of the quarry for the bristlebacks. Charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. Follow the trail of the bristle bag. Another dead bristleback? It's strange. Parts of it have been tampered with. Almost like an override. An old mine. And a lot of broken trees. Like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? They came from an old oh. mine. Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. Well, do I have time? I've got less than 10 minutes. Let's see how deep into the mine we can go. Mushroom, mushroom. Ooh, this is dangerous. Oh, look at that. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It pays to look up. Ah! 
Ah. Ah. What the? What? What? Oh. Okay. But that's the one I want. <laughs> I don't want these. I want that. I don't want to rappel down. I want to get that. How do I get over there? I'm trying to jump and it won't let me. No, 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 no. No! No! Left control into the direction you want. Oh. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you. going that way except a dead bristleback down there the cart tracks must have given way under it so the bristlebacks were in here Deeper in the mine. An explosion? Bristlebacks. I guess they got trapped in here. I'm gonna have to take them out before I can look around. Great. Okay, let's see how I can get these guys. Yeah, we get to try out our new weapon here.
take a look at where the smoke's coming from. I wonder about these canisters. What happens if you shoot them? Nothing. Alright, grapple point over there. Let's see if there's any more loot. Yeah, that's the way I came. <coughs> oh dear. There's a lot of smoke. It looks like mine one's pretty far back. There's enough blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. It's not addressed to Oland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Oland must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Okay. Right, that's it. <laughs> we just got to deliver the news to Javad. Or fire, maybe, says Bailey. Yeah, yeah, that was it. It was fire. Oh dear. Well, in that case. Oh god. No chain reaction? Nope, I guess not. <laughs> they didn't want us to commit suicide. Secretly blasting in the mine. Trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? And from where? Yeah, that did it. Hello. Oh. Oh, 
Spellcaster won't work on that. Really? I want to get the chest. I can't use the pullcaster on that. Got it. Okay. Let's see where this leads. It's starting to rain. Well... We're all the way over there. Let's, uh, fast travel. Because I am out of time, but I want to turn in this quest first. What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think. That Olvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. Guess we're not done. I need to go. Of course. Go to Baron Light. All right, so that's the main quest, where the though. Where the came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going. I see. So this is a multi-part side quest. We need to continue going west for the main quest before we can pick up the trail of this side quest. All right, so let's head to the campfire and manually save. And there we go, everyone. That's today's Monday live stream. Thanks for joining me. Hope you uh, had a good time. I had a great time. Uh, really, really digging the game. Really loving it. Getting my feet wet again. Starting to remember how the game plays and enjoying all of the new features. We'll be back same amongst time next week for more Horizon Forbidden West. But for the rest of this week on Wednesday, we've got Baldur's Gate 3, Thursday Scotch and Smoke Rings, and more Alone in the Dark. We'll have a ton of shorts all week. No lore video for the weekend unless things change. But I think I'm um, busy capturing footage for the next episode in my full story of Fallout 4. 
So until I get that done, um, no lore videos, but I'm hard at work trying to get it done as soon as possible. Thanks for joining, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday, and I'll see you again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now. Oh, yeah, sure. Get around it. I'll, uh, here, watch you Your compassion warms my forge. Why else would one leave the glory of Mainsford? Boredom. Nothing interesting happens to claim anymore. The claim is old. That's why we travel as far as the unknowns or retakers. Better 